Oh, uh, thank you for the 13 Stream month. The shark heart. All right. All right, guys. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to, uh, to play, um, Mr. Stanlingson. Ready to play some Mr. Stanlingson. Mr. Stanlingson. Oh, what in the world? It is options. I need to fix the thing. It screwed up everything. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, oh, please. Aspect ratio. Who plays that? Let me please just, uh, okay. Oh, that was scary. It shoved everything everywhere. Do I need to turn on the audio a little bit? Okay, that should be good. Let me turn off this and then um, go to here. Go to here. Go to we're finally doing something. Yeah. Uh, where's okay, here we go. All right, we're playing Stanley Parable. The stand the stand stand the band of blah blah. blah. Um, that's kind of cool. It's like, uh-oh, here's this. Can I pick up the phone? Is there like any secret things right here I can do? That red button looked ominous. Oh, I thought I could maybe use this monitor to click the game. All right, beginning game. End is the end is never the end is never the end is never the end. Click to skip. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Okay. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on That's, the keyboard. You know? Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. Oh, that's kind of annoying. to push them, and in what order. Oh, shit. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month okay. of every year. I can see that getting old. Others Does it have captions? I can check. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. He's happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Uh -oh. No one had showed up to give him instructions. Well, now for what? A meeting, or even say hi. Uh. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Wait, so does that make him Something better? Was very clearly he gets wrong. like his own room. Shocked, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Well, now this narrator's just telling me what I'm doing. A uh, video? Or would it be an audio if there's subtitles? Oh. What's it? What's full captions and what's subtitles? What's, what's the difference? Would full captions be like for every sound? Uh, we, we, uh, oh, uh, um, uh, we'll, we'll, we can try full captions for a bit. Whoa, this game's so smooth. It's like, do I need to try things? Oh, let's close that. Uh, uh, please don't tell me I broke. I didn't know. All of his co-workers were gone. Hello? What did it mean? I don't know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, okay. Memo time. Meeting room? Oh, okay. Hello? What's this guy up to? 
Man. This would be kind of scary, actually. It seems like some shit went down. Where's the memo room? Wait. Four oh, wait. That's 417. Uh, I would guess it's somewhere like this way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did I, though? Did I? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Uh, that's what I planned on. Hello? Hello? This is like the nice hallway, then over there's like the spooky hallway. Okay. I got the narration changed. That's funny. <sighs> yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Honestly. It's really been worth the detour after all. Just kinda to spend cozy. a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. You know, it's it's rooms like these that really bring me back. Okay, these kind of chairs, I don't know what memory exactly makes me think of, yes, but it makes me think of something. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Okay, the room so fine. Utterly but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. But did I? <laughs> but did I? Scoop! Stanley oh. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay, narrator, seems like you're... It feels like you're not just narrating anymore. Oh. I can't tell if the narrator's playing mind games with me. Like, was I actually supposed to do that? Or did he make me think... I wasn't supposed to do that. And now really he's doing what he actually wanted me to do. I haven't gotten a good sense of the narrator yet. Look, Stanley, Can I, I fall think off? perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Do I, I hear you? I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. It does feel that way, There's actually, someone though. someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking um. for me. I'm asking for her. Uh-oh, there's a her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. I have no clue where this is going now. Um, okay. Let me see if I can go up here. Okay. Uh. Oh. Well. I guess there's really only one option, right? There's only one option. Whoa! That's Ring. her, Stanley. Okay. You need to be the one to do this. To Where reach out to her. Where the fuck is this going? If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Or do I, Mr. Narrator? Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want to talk to her. As Stanley picked up the Get phone, bucked. a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited Wait, but I didn't... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Oh, you know me. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was Sweet, possible. Sweet, I'm human. Let me double check. No. Definitely it wasn't in the script. It Stanley wasn't in the script. Up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Oh. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Man, that would have been Not nice. Picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. Uh -huh. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? I don't know. You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. 
This is why Man, you've been able to really, make uh... incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol what did I do? for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? It's well, I won't have that phone. kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly oh, on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if yeah. used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. I suppose. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? No, they're really gonna make me practice. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy to be decision fair, people making do process. That. People do that. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. Honestly, At it's a time, good way. Your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. I forget. I didn't ah, take notes. Welcome back. You may have noticed Stop. that this room has Stop. begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Okay. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. And I'm going to break see what it the again. Correct thing to do would have been. Going to break this it way, again. Please. So now I'm curious what would happen if I didn't do this. Like, what would have Do I have to go all the way back? Wait, there was an option for me to fall off. Know your choices are <laughs> Look, we there's can't gates. Have you jumping off the platform and dying. Well, I wasn't. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. I suppose. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make things hell for you, buddy. Is not well equipped to deal with reality. It's gonna, it's gonna get real tough. Ah, I can't jump. All right, fine, we go back. All right, um, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to all the way back until I made the very first mistake. Honestly, was this so bad coming this way? Yes, there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Door on the left? Oh boy, I hope I have another option. Hmm. Fuck. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That I'm means not Stanley. And always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Okay. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. From the top, right. from the top. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Scoop, 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 scoop. <laughs> no. Why did you do that? No. Okay, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Um. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. My bad. From the top. From the top. From the top. <laughs> oh, come on. Let me through. Me through. Hmm. Can I close this door? Oh, do I have no other options? Can I not rebel any further? Can I go through this door? Oh, I bet he wasn't gonna be ready for that one. 
Um, come on, come on. I can figure it out. It, I don't think there's anything else I can do. Can I smash through this door? Can I? Okay, I think I have another option but to go through the other door now. Um, I think I tried everything. Uh, this plant. Can I pick up this plant? Nope. 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 I'm, I'm clicking everything. I'm trying my best. I, I don't think... Uh, I don't think I have any other option. I even tried going through. Um, damn it. You got me good. So bright. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Your story's Why? boring. For what? What did you get and out of that? And for what? What did you think and was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. Sounds and what am like... I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving oh. its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. You're really rambling to on. The game down entirely? To wow. willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. <laughs> What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. What? No! I'm having such I a good time! Am I dying? Am I dying? thought you were so clever. I thought I was now pretty cheeky. My entire game is destroyed. Well, it was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into I the I still ground. don't quite understand the storyline, but would be funny. Uh, you just had to see. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? See, that's where you went he wrong. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. I don't want to. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you you're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Why would I have it destroyed would have been it? It so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I have another plan. No! Why did you do that? Oh. Quickly, hurry. He behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll okay. be fine. Okay, well, it seems like he's All got right. me back into a corner <clears throat> now. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What? Maybe I can get away with it twice. Maybe the second time does something no. different. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Damn it. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means... All right. All right, fine. This will, this will do it. Um, hmm. Go left. Go right. Okay, maybe this will help uh, decide. Choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Sorry, Stanley Mr. Narrator. A set of two open doors, I'm having a. Uh... I'm having Twitch chat uh, decide this time. Ooh, go right looks like it's gonna win. Not even gonna bother. You know, this is a significant lead. So let me see. Does third time's a charm change anything? To the door on his left. You betcha. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. <laughs> okay, it seems like we're actually left with no option. Just behave exactly as Stanley um, would. It doesn't seem that like they're letting me. responsibly and always putting the story first. Uh... I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
<laughs> oh god, I gotcha. You already know it's so you started. Can't believe he finally made me go left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Nice. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Um, what is hot profits? We have our new product. Graphs about things and money. What do people want? Things. More water coolers. More water cooler heaters. Charts need to be more hip to appeal. So it, it just feels like whoever made this didn't really, uh, you kind of just filled in. Do not uh, alter without consulting whiteboard manager. How many days? Oh, it goes that way. Okay. Okay, I give up. I think they got me good. Come on, I want to see what's in the broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his They really boss's blocked office. me off. They really blocked me off. Window? Oh, it's bright. Door? Damn it. They're really cornering me now. What is this? How is this room in this building? Let me on the computer. I can hack into it. I can hack the mainframe. Is this his Mr. Suit Guy? Wait, did I try every door though? Can I try this door again? No. I'm trying I'm trying my best. I'm not gonna give up give I'm not giving up the good fight until until there's no other corner. Hello. Kind oh. of a fun sound. Not a helpful one though. Did it sound like that door was like Okay. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Oh. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered oh. in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay right. all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 115. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Uh oh, I didn't get to do it myself. I thought. Uh. Okay. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? I don't. Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Penis. Okay, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I uh, asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind make of respect me. Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story I'm taking this seriously. very seriously. You didn't I'm trying to, to think outside to the you, box. Then why did you come here? You had a huh? choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Uh, because... Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. I didn't. Ah, uh, great. Here we go again. And he's mad. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. No, don't do it. Listen to me, man. Go to the right! Go to the right! Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Go to the right, man! Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Wait, am I? Can you hear me? Is everything alright? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? 
Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work oh. together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. Oh, no, I agree, Stanley. You, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, no. are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to Aww. make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. He's so broken. It's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as yeah, you Yeah, don't need. even worry about it. Yeah. I did it! Okay. So we did that option. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided mm. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he. You know what I'm kind of curious about? Memory. There are 19 endings. Holy! So, how good of an ending did I just get right there? No, no, I think I think you're supposed to play the game kind of fast. I don't think like the. I feel like I did pretty well. I feel like I did the one that made the narrator sad. And. And I, it showed, that was a sad ending? How, I mean, the sad ending for the narrator, but not necessarily the sad ending for me. But if anything, I got the last laugh. I was like, got him. Now he has to sit and wait for me to do something. Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. Hey, I was it's part of a doing game. a little narration for my own. to see how long he can go without dying. So far, when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, I can you know what I'm kind of want now? I kind of, I kind of want to... This was not the correct way no, to the I, meeting I know. room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. well. Perhaps I kind of want to, um... By the employee lounge first, I want to see, uh... It. Um, my wow. wife. Yes. This or maybe room. it was my wife, but or I, I don't know. To business, it could have been my wife, like I proposed or something. Left. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Let's uh, he wasn't fine years let's go ago. meet. Let's go meet her. Let's make the phone call. Look, Stanley. Yeah, I we're gonna meet her. Off on the wrong Speaking foot of wrong here. foot. Ah! I'm not sure but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Okay, okay. That one easy a enough. Soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. No weather there. All right. <laughs> this time. When let's Stanley go. Came to let's a set go. Of two open doors. Propose. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Just you to bet. Yeah. Is there a sprint button? The lounge was no. sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley <laughs> took the first open door. Wait, on his is left. this door too? Man, there's so many options. But we got to make that phone call. Stanley the phone call was, so was quite bad intriguing. At following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, bucko. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off. Don't on make the me do it again. Here. Don't make me do I'm it not again. Your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I don't know. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen it to you? It feels well, like I, it. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something. Well, we'll beautiful. get there. We'll get Look, there. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay. Give me I'll chance. give you a chance. I'll listen. I'll listen to you. The next thing you say, I'll listen to. I promise. Now listen carefully, this is important. 
Stanley walked through the red door. I promised, I promised. <laughs> uh -huh. Perhaps what? you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Yeah, the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Yeah. Stanley walked through the red door. Yeah, the red door. Yeah. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want yeah. to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me Oh, stop man. You. This looks intriguing. You see? There's nothing here. Okay. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Well, maybe that's a you problem. you were supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? It's pretty intriguing. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out well, specifically I mean, for you? You could just open you the door. I think I put a lot of time into that because I did. And oh. in the end, it was all for nothing. I do feel a little bad for him. He probably did put time. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? Uh, what did you want to see? Don't Vehicles? give me a... Don't Skill tell me what trees. to do. Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing Don't tell me so what to do far. and let me figure it out. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Now we're talking. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh, okay. Well, see, that's where you went wrong. Now he's telling me, like, what to do. Okay. I'm going to stop you there. Now. Tell me about your experience with this new version. See, Would you, you say almost that the nailed game it. Benefited from allowing you more choices. Yeah. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay, based on his questions, more options, yes. But like the way they maybe so I have to give it a five based on how he asked the question. I like the more options. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Yeah. Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in hey, your you, you, I really work couldn't narrator. say where the idea came you know, from. Except I've been giving you a lot of shit. But... I felt it in my soul. You can't my teach soul. that, Stanley. Don't even try. Oh, yeah, yeah, I will. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Wait, this is nice. Are these real? Maybe not. Only the worst 3% of the play. No way, now I know it's not me. Uh I made it. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Honestly, it kind of did. It made me think like, oh, maybe not, you know. Hey, yeah. I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. Yeah, I can't wait to you throw mind it. Taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Dude, there seems like so many options. Game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless bastard. Okay, if you do whoa! It because you hate babies or purely despite it, me. Definitely despite you. The latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't Stop think of a single what to do. thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. 
It's <laughs> over. Just rage quit. Thank I literally made playing. him rage quit. Your input was extremely valuable. I made him rage quit. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Let's play Valorant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Well, Stanley, is this any better? Yeah. At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Yeah! Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? No, this is good. Well, this I'll is pretty... This. I'm done making things for you. What? From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic you know what? purpose. And good for you. This, good Stanley. for you, narrator. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this oh. will go here. No, here. And then... He's really making a dirt shack. This guy blows. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of Can we course. change the category so to Minecraft? It off. Yes, it's complete. Holy. Standing. Look at it. You know, if he Gaze feels good about it, though, work of why not? And feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Oh, oh I would love to show you what I can outside. build. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Would it bother you if I don't go inside? I really don't want to. But maybe I have no options. He might just be patient. Can I close the door? Um, does anyone know? Can I wait like a magical amount of time? Damn it. I can't move. Look at that hill over there. Is that the old cobblestone? Uh, it seems like I have to go into it. I can't jump anywhere unless I just haven't figured out the jump button. I don't think there's a jump button. Fine, whatever. You know, we'll listen to it once. He built a house. He wants to show it off. Fine. Fine. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Oh, diamond, my goodness. everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. I get to play Minecraft? All right. This is nice. Wait, can I get over there? Oh. Oh. Wait, this feels weird being able to do this in Minecraft. Okay, I don't think I can cheat the system here and I can't jump. Okay, fine. You got me. All right, it's kind of loud. Oh my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have Give me a torch, a bitch. Look, of course I didn't bring a light. Give me a torch. I really hope there's no mobs. Let me get this coal. I'm playing Minecraft. Hello? Okay, fine. Yeah, make oh, me one. No, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in No, mind. nothing wrong with I'm that. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. Well, see, that's this where your problem is, Mr. Narrator. Five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. This portal? <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. 
Okay, <laughs> now I'm curious. Oh. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Wait, this is awesome. <laughs> this game's so interesting. Woo! Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking. Wait, where's Stanley? my weapon? Your forte. Oh, you already know it. I'm very critical thinking thinker. Genius. Get rolled, idiot. Wait, the right, narrow. You know what? I think that's plenty. What? I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. Uh, I didn't know that would happen. Mr. Narrator. Full year foolish bogue shark. Can't really see. Uh, I'm like in like, like the filing. Maybe. Oh, I fell. Uh. Sometimes you just fall into the back rooms. Yeah, look at that. Thank you for the 14 months. I don't know what's going on. Oh, is this a window? Oh, no. I don't know which way to go. You know what? Maybe I miss it when Mr. Narrator was there to direct me. Now there's just doors everywhere. Oh. The light's typically a pretty good spot. Before we go that way, let me see. Um. I hope this doesn't become a horror game. It's pretty dark and spooky. Did I just make it back to the beginning? Is this where I started? I don't remember. Alright, maybe we just go to the light. Maybe we don't always have to make things complicated. Maybe, because you know what I mean? Like, if, if it was me just playing a regular game, I'd probably have said towards the light. Easy peasy. Did it did did it did it did it did Light. Ooh. All right, four twenty-seven. My office. Uh, this not where I was supposed to head. Is there more to it? 11 months oh no oh no it's no longer a straightforward game i thought the light was i wonder what he found if what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story well perhaps he's gotten it down in wherever he is right now i wonder if he's happy with his choice and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it um... he'll understand soon what i was trying to tell him he needs me Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Wait. Did I, did I do it? Wait, so is that one of the endings? I won, technically? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Er. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I did it. When Stanley came to a set oh, of two man. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go get a wife. This was not the correct way to the meeting room and I think that's what we do now. Well. Let's finally Perhaps do that. No interruptions. By the employee lounge first, just to admire I can't even it. imagine. Like, I never even went Stanley down the door. Now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first, but eager to get back to business. Stanley I don't know how many endings we're going to try, but uh, left. let's do the one where we get a, like that one. I kind of want to try that way to see where else it could lead. Stanley but. was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired. Guy, ago. all he does is talk, 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 but he doesn't really walk the walk. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Shut up. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. 
Mm. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Hooray! There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot okay. about. Please, we've, we've fallen down. We've gone there. Decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Yeah. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Let's get it. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. I'll do it this time, Mr. Narrator. Don't even if worry you can about truly it. Place your faith in another. Then pick up the phone. All right. Oh, glasses. Okay. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, great. Right. Fresh bread. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? Maybe. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Oh. Hey. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Okay, listen, I tried to pull a fast one on you. Okay, you've learned. Okay, okay, nice. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, what the fuck? I don't want to press F. I'm not going to press F. You know, she's not everything I imagined she would be, but you know, maybe she's the right one for me. I'd rather not. It looks like I don't have very many options, though. Can I, can I press like L or O or P? L, K, J, H, M, N, E, V, C, X, Z, G, T, R, E, D, e, S, A, Q, Y, U, I, O, P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, space bar. Oh. Looks like I only got one option. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. F. Dang it, I thought pressing F would do something. Man, I keep trying to do different things, but it doesn't seem like anything else works. I'm really trying my best here to still stick it to him, you know? Really stick it to him, but, uh, seems like, seems like I have to press B. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Don't make me press E, man. Oh, now you've done it, narrator. Now that's like, that's like Twitch chat's favorite letter. Oh, great. Now you've done it. There's nothing. I can't do anything. I'm powerless. Ah. Great. Um. Great. You know what they can't do though? They can't make me. They, they can't. They, they won't let me just not eat a fry. Okay, I'll press E. 
But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Oh! TV! Hi! Where's the TV, though? Is he gonna be like, just kidding, you don't have a TV? Or is it in this room? Maybe it's in this room. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Wait. <laughs> Press T to spend time with the boys. Hell yeah. You know? Just spend a little time with the boys. It's what Stanley loves to do. Oh yeah. I'm actually gonna hesitate on this one. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even Wait. mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Is it starting to become like a game within a game? So like, uh, that whole door sequence is all just my own in-game imagination, the door thing, but then the narrator is uh, I'm proud of it. Is that what's happening? Oh man. Things getting crazy. Oh, man. Um, press six to prepare dinner. Okay, sure, why not? A little hungry. I'm eating right now. Kind of works out. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. So like, so it's still this idea of a premise that I'm, I'm the narrator. I have no idea. Um, let's have some kids. Why not? It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never hey, end, Bush. that he might always I'm feel now. this free. Happy Surely there's an answer Have down an some new Thank path, you. mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I love you, wife! But there is no answer. Aww. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Oh. Well. Yes, uh, there aren't always a happy end. All just meaningless in the end. And it was all just an illusion. Oh, bother. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Okay. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. <laughs> you see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? Huh? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Let me see what happens if I don't press the button for a second and I just simply eat this quesadilla instead. Hmm. Or right, maybe nothing happens. 
Um. Okay, fine. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. Wait, narrator, so are you just a I coded suppose. thing as well? I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I oh. must. Okay, yeah, go for Perhaps. it. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. Yeah, maybe. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Uh oh. Die. 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 Oh, wow. We might all be sad, but at least I am eight months subbed poppies. Yeah! Um, who cares if I just died to Stanley? Um. Thank you for the eight gifted. I mean, eight. I meant to say thank you for the eight months and then say thank you for the five gifted, but eh. That's it up. <laughs> okay, dude. It's so weird that like every ending like kind of leads to like like a second ending. Like what if I maybe listened to him the first time? Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. There might on his be a left. few more possibilities on that side. And there might be just another quesadilla. Gotta go in my belly. <laughs> yeah, we got the Minecraft. Well, I don't know if it's the Minecraft ending, but there was a Minecraft part. Um. But it feels like we've done a lot of the right side things. Um. Very good. Okay. Um. One more quesadilla and then I'll get moving again. These are kind of delicious. But there was one more right side option I was kind of interested in, which is like. Maybe I go to the right, but then detour. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh oh. Where did that thing go? I don't know where I put it. I had a napkin. Where'd it go? Ow. All right. Now. Put this one. Do kids get a share or do I need to break out popsicles and tissues again? Well, no, no, no. That, that, that's not fair. You can't do that to me. That's not fair. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wait, I want to try going this way. Stanley headed butterflies in his stomach. Giddy, but eager to get back to business, giddy. Stanley so took the giddy. first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. You, I sure did. You betcha. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. No. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, 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 from here, it's, um, left. Oh, well, it looks like I have no choice but to go left. Oh, no. 
No, it's to the right, my mistake. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? He doesn't know. He has to look at his script. Now, let's see. We went down, oh, my. Right, left, yeah. down. Yeah. It's open. Left, the, there's only one right. of the options. There's yep, literally yep. only one. Okay, more. okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh. Oh. I was like, do I hop in the truck? Do I have a license? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just... This one I get fired? Oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. Oh. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, no! we'll just restart no! the game from the beginning. No! And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off okay, track. Okay, fine. I won't okay. run off. I won't. From I'll go the, the right top. way. Fine. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? From the Stanley top. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps yep. he had simply missed a memo. Yep. What happens? Is there one where I just stay in the office? When Stanley... Wait. Wait. What? No. I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely oh, fresh. Oh, wait. Everything should be... Okay. Why did something change? Stanley, this is cool. Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you uh, move the story somewhere? Or... I, I don't know. Hold on. Why am You're I as clueless you? as I am. I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah, exactly, bucko. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Huh. Well. Not after I get this many choices. Nice. Hello. Oh, man, there's so many choices. Oh, there's choices all over the place. Oh boy, let's try here. Uh, here? Oh, there's too many choices now. Now there's too many. No, I lied. I'll I say it. What? This is the worst adventure what? I've ever been on. I can promise I you there I definitely was a story here before. No, uh. Do we just. Do we need to restart the game again? No. Well, I find it unlikely no. that we'll ever progress by starting over. No, and I'll, over figure again. It, I'll figure it's it totally out. Uh, just give me. Okay, let's give it a me, shot. Uh, maybe I. Oh. Okay. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't Stanley know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Oh, Perhaps boy, oh, he had boy. Mr. Memo. Oh, father. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering yeah, thanks, this dog. Wrong. I'm gonna it's need another case of beer. The back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? No! Just make the doors come to me! Great. Great. Now... Now I have to backpedal. Because of his inadequacies. Uh-oh. Oh, welcome. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay. Now. Scoop. 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 Oh. Back to the game. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Oh, the story. motherfucker. Okay, let's head back the other way. This and is the worst one. Steps. Like, it's funny when I mess with him, but it's not funny when he gets to... Okay. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Yeah. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that No. Nope. Now... Mm. Now I drive a Ford F-150. Well, do you know what? I live Since in my I've log cabin. I've forgotten what we were supposed to be I like doing. to cut down axes. This? 
You win! Yeah! Congratulations! I did it! I know you put in a lot of hard work. Yeah! It really paid off, so good job. Thanks! Oh, no. No, no it felt I right. Feel right about no, this at all. I, I literally felt so good about it. Any actual work for that win. Yeah, Some I did. people win fair and square, and this was not one no, of those No, I situations. won fair and square. I broke your game and okay. won. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> Nothing worse than restarting a game multiple times. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable I'm Adventure Line. Lost. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Uh-oh. No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. The line, trademark. Ah. Uh. Well, it looks like I have no choice but to follow the line now. Unless. 420, what's in there? Ah, probably a party in there. Ah. <laughs> um. Um. Oh. Is that solitaire? Can I play solitaire? Come on now. You see, the line knows where the story is. Yeah, it's shouldn't over you in know? This direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Just one more quesadilla. Just one more.
Wait, this yellow line's confusing me. I am confused. Take the 12 months. I'm confused. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. You know what, narrator? Honestly, both that I'm not interested, but you kind of piqued my interest when you said, look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely. Wait, I need you one more case to do. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. Um. All right, so there's a fern. Um. It looks like a fern. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, mm. Mm. Uh oh. A little bit of quesadilla on me. It's okay. Now, guys, remember this location as well. Okay. So, not just the fern, but like the fact that there's the lines, there's that paper. There's a box. Okay. No, I'm not going to screenshot. That's not. He didn't say take a photo. He Wait, said. We're back at the office? No. 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 Line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? I don't even know. Is any of this ringing a bell? I'm honestly. I forgot that anything. I feel like I've just been following a line. Hello? Oh, hello? Hi. Oh, hello? Hi. That scared me. Are you, um, <laughs> foolish gamers? Yeah. Oh my, oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm like a huge fan of your content. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want, you want like an autograph or something? Or? Yeah. Uh, can, can you sign, uh, can you sign this and say, uh, to my oh, no, 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 not again. Uh, Line, how could you have done this to us? Uh, how do we trust you? Beat it, kid. After everything we've been through, uh, you... Uh, no, uh, I can't take this anymore. To hell uh, with it. Restart. Uh, uh, Honestly, uh, rotten hell. I'm your, your number one fan. Uh, yeah, no, I'm sure, yeah. I, I love your content. It's so good. Oh, thanks. Are you gonna... I mean, it's not as good as, like, no plates or or dreams, but it's still really good, you know. Are you gonna Are you gonna give me money or not? I mean, it's it's not as good as like like Skeppies or or Mr. Beasts or, or even Bad Boy Heroes, but like like it's it's alright. Uh, no, it's probably it's probably definitely better. I mean, to be fair, it's like the last. You're like the last streamer I'll watch. On Twitch, like if I see you live. Hey, you know what? I'm on the list. And unlike those other streamers, at least I'm like usually live. So. Well, I mean, like, yeah, like if I'm if I'm Get not fucked. Doing, like, if I'm not doing anything else, <laughs> like I'll, I'll watch your stream, you know. But like, I'll, I'll, anyway, all I'm saying is I'm your, your number one fan. It seems like it. It seems like it. In fact, I'm, I'm probably your only fan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're probably... <laughs> you're, <laughs> you probably don't have <laughs> anyone else. No, no, I'm, no I've got... There's, there's, there's more. No, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm in. No, they, there's a lot. No, no, I can, I can at least, I can, no, I can at least count like a few on uh, my just, finger. It's just me. No. Here, let me, uh, let me get my other friend. He also loves watching your content. Ah, uh, great. One, one second. Okay. Oh my goodness! Hello. Oh, this. Oh I, my. Yeah. You're my, you're my favorite streamer. 
You're right. Your content is so so good. I I love it. It it actually makes me like so happy. You have no idea. Hey hey kid. No no I I love you Techno Blade. You're amazing. No I I don't think. Uh. Wait a minute. I don't I don't. You're think... not you're not Techno Blade. No. Nah. <laughs> Oh, you're just foolish gamers. Well. Whoa! Okay. What? Wow. Wow. Really? Oz, you know what? Fuck you. Hey, my you, mother. You idiot says Elmo wannabe. Swearing shows that you have a low IQ. <laughs> That's right. what she yeah. says. Well, though. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how low my IQ is as I'm kicking your ass. You could beat me up. I could probably beat you up. I would slap you silly. No. I would. I would roll you. No. And actually, I've heard different things. That swearing is a sign of high intelligence. No. Science, there's also been other scientific debates on it. So really, I don't know if you're right, kid. Maybe, uh, no. maybe graduate middle school first and then come back. Hey, I'll have you know, I have a... A diploma. What? From, like, for from getting past kindergarten. Yep, yep. That's what I thought. Boom. That's what I thought. Um, congrats. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I just want. All right. I'm. I'm sorry. I was just. I was just a little nervous. I'm actually a really big fan. And a scumbag. Oh no! I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you upset. Um, hey, you know what? Tell your mother I said hi. Okay, I, I will. She's she's a big fan of your content, too. Oh, I know. I know. Well, Trust me. Well, well, Actually, maybe maybe my biggest fan. Can you say, uh... Can you say hi? Hi, hi to who? To your number one fan? Um, I'm sure I will when I come over later. All right, that that's a low blow. All right, I just I'm just speaking gonna of go low now. blows. I just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Down. <laughs> oh my goodness, bullish! Hi. Hey, what up, man? Oh, I just got in. Is like I saw two people left. That was crazy. Yeah, you uh, you you didn't miss much. Yeah, no. Mm. No, no, I I hope not. I'm not doing much. I'm just playing. Have you ever played Stanley Parable? You know what? It's been a while. I can't really remember it, to oh, well, be honest. There you go. If you want to take a look, I'll, I'll play it live for you. I swear I I watched someone play this like... Who did I watch play this like a week ago? Not a week ago, but like a couple months ago. Um, you know what, Stanley? Oh, I say forget. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I'm like ending us. number seven or something. I, I don't know where I'm at right Why now. Can't we make up our own story. Oh. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. It's been pretty interesting, oh, though. This sounds play. perfectly yeah. doable. Why don't we simply start wandering? No, in, Carl well, playing know. it was definitely how about interesting. This direction. Um, how many endings did he do? You remember? Like, did he play uh, for a while? I think he, yeah, he did. We hung out for a long time. Oh, you showed up for that too? Yeah. I see. I see, you're just a big uh, Stanley Parable now, fan. Yes, this is uh, exciting. Just me and Stanley for Just me, Minecraft, Stanley, and Bad Boy story, Halo. Well, it could be anything. Let's what do you go. want our story to be? Go you know wild. what? You should tell Use your the, imagination. The bot Whatever it might be, Stanley. Wait, the narrator? I'm ready. The narrator? For it. We're the bot. Is that his name? I don't know. I just call him Mr. Narrator. Alright. Oh, no, oh, I'm getting confused. Again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having and I hate role the role in awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. I agree. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. What do you mean don't acknowledge it? Do I have to not follow it? I can't jump. Oh, it worked. Okay. I did it! Woo! Ah, a choice. We I love choices. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. You're right. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. 
Okay. Don't do it. So Don't I know that now. each nah. door has Trust to be. I'm doing a good job of not listening. Which means that somewhere, yeah. the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads. Can here. I walk backwards in a and circle? That in turn Would that bother him? Means that our destination corresponds mm. with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask: Will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, what? then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Wait, how? Based Another on what? Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. How did he come to that? See, I agree. I feel like if it was the right place, the door would go the other way. Can I go this way? Can I go reverse circle? Try, try and go back out the way you came in. Uh, they do a pretty good job, honestly. Most time a door is closed, it just seems to stay locked. Again, just don't go in. Um, resist him. You've been playing the confusion ending. It has not been 16 minutes. Wait, maybe it has. Don't go in. Don't go in. I was eating. Resist. Well, well, I, I mean, at what point? Or maybe if I go in the circle now. No, reverse circle. Reverse circle probably gets attention quicker. But like, how long can I hold off? I, I, what if there's nothing? What if I'm just the narrator's playing me and there is. There's no more to do. It might be, but what if you have to like wait here for like a hundred years? I don't see. I I have a feeling that's not worth it. All right, I guess go in then. Oh, a chair. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending, and we're supposed to restart the game what, eight eight times? That's really how this? all this goes? It's uh -huh. all determined? Oh. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes Sometimes blank. Sometimes that confuses the narrators in charge this, or not. This thing, mm. wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I don't. I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I agree. I, I don't want to It'd be real nice if that was how it was. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't. That do it. boy I narrator. Won't do it. I won't. Let's do go. It. And the time return stopped. Huh? Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. Yeah. How would we even know? There you go. Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Oh man. Like me and so, me and both lost. Okay. I guess now we just wait. You yeah. Know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? Couldn't I'm agree not more. Quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I oh. hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime. Oh. Oh. What? Why? What just happened? I don't know. All of his co-workers were gone. Uh, what right. did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the that meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memory. I don't know. That was sad. The narrative kind of like on our side finally for once. When Stanley came to a set of two I think we've done doors, like everything on the right the side, basically, head. right? The only thing we didn't do, I think, was like... Go right and keep going down the hallway. Right, we didn't do that. You should do that one. Aw, uh, he did forget. Aw. One more time this to the right. Was not the correct way one more to time to the right. Room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Just to admire. Maybe there's a couple more. I don't know. There's one thing the I definitely know grand, I can do. Majestic. Perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took I the I can't wait to see what the left hallway has left. to offer. Okay. So I haven't done this. So, so last time, through the I took. Section, I went down. Went ahead, right? Or did I do this? And got back on track. Wait, did I do this part already? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. 
Hoping he might Wait, come no. up to a staircase, go back Stanley there. walked upstairs to his boss's oh, office. Wait, now I have an option to go downstairs. Let's go down. Yeah! Resist. Yeah! We did it. Oh, a car. But Stanley just couldn't do it. I couldn't. He Sorry. considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he uh. had left his post during work hours, he might be fired. <laughs> for oh yeah, that. that's what I was thinking. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He's really he's trying All to gaslight me right now. Thinking mysteriously out of existence oh, wow. in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Uh -oh. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? <gasps> and for that matter, these rooms were surface? starting to look Just pretty familiar. The broom were they closet, simply repeating? You get an ending, it's one no, of my Stanley favorites. said to himself, this is also, all too strange, this can't be real. The of the and at last, room, he came to the ending. conclusion Good that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. Uh oh, the yeah. classic. This is all oh a dream. Goodness. The classic. Oh, it was all just a dream. To have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after um, all. I'm still definitely going in circles. Himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life <laughs> job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Oh. So. He imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh! Then okay. he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? Uh. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head how do you, dictating everything that I'm doing and how thinking? Did you, how do you not think of that one sooner? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. Wait, how could you have just how come to that be? conclusion? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility uh. for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Maybe not. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in <laughs> fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, ah. the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. This is nice. I'm through with this dream. I okay. wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want no, is my life. No, don't do it, Stanley. Exactly it's all the fake. Way it's always been. Oh no. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Okay. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? I thought everything was going to be fine. And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Huh? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. 
She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. What the fuck? But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled uh -huh. through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. And ran? All right. What was, like, the moral or anything of that one? Don't be... Well, sometimes uh, confusing you just to think it's like like a game within a game. So like you're like yeah. this person, okay? And the narrator, you know, is it is in it. But like for all we know, the narrator is also just part of the game because he's shown those parts like where he's also doesn't really know what's doing. Is there a phone? Mm -hmm. That's oh. new, right? I will be our Bye. Bye. Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or a person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. The dangers? If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you and have a pleasant day. Uh, do I need to press it again? Wait, so was it a recorded? Was that a recorded message? Or was that just a phone call? Because I definitely... Oh... Boy. Am I in danger? I didn't... Whoa, eight months with the foosh. I didn't... Is there anything I missed? Is there any like am I supposed to like listen? Alright, oh, whatever, we just go forward. This is kinda spooky. Uh when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. There's still one more option, I think. Well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the now we gotta go through the thing first, keep going and then up the it. stairs And here it was the lounge But eager to get back to business here we go. Stanley took the first open door on his left And so he detoured through the maintenance section walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track Did I go this way? I don't even know what that way is dude. This is confusing Broom closet? I, I'll, uh, where's the broom closet? Yet there was not a single I'll figure that after. Either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to oh. go up to his boss's office, hoping he might... Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. <laughs> this As guy is, doesn't know. He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. This guy doesn't know I play Rock Simulator. Are you 
Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Is he, Please Mr. Narrator? Some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I don't know. It seems like it's really pushing your buttons. And for that, it's really making my buttons happy. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring <laughs> he knows. to find out. He knows. But it didn't even he occur knows. to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. He literally got you guys. He literally rolled you guys. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Okay. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how okay. stupid well, he is. You wrote Red me. With drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Wait, no, you can't do that. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Frickin' game time. It's game time, baby. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> I doubt that. Right, go. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his we go upstairs. office. Wait, I want to go to the executive bathroom. Come on. Come on. Dang it. Was I supposed to go a different way? Now I don't know. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned Great. to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that Great. his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 28 four five but of course stanley couldn't possibly have known this. i knew this do i have to do something about it does it matter but if i do stanley know it just sat around twiddling his thumbs 
trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Two, eight, four, five. I hear ya. Hear ya. Curious. Do you have any other messages where I have no other option but to do it? Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Sometimes more work is more work and it's better to just do less work and you'll still get the same results. Now this time I don't know if he's gonna... Uh, I doubt like a car is gonna pick me up and I'm, I may have to go forward myself right here so... I'll give it like a little bit more. Alright. Fine. Fine. I'm so, can I? Is there anything else I can do? Wait, wait, wait. Maybe if I bend down. No. Okay. I don't know. I tried. I tried my best. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. No, I don't. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, mm -hmm. as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. No. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Freedom! <laughs> Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth yeah. was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk it's a lie. forward and willingly confront it's a lie. his death. I know that there's... This is freedom. Well, well, narrator, this was the ace in my sleeve. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision. Um, of what yeah, listen, Perhaps I really thought. Uh, like plugging oh, the eyeballs from the blind man. boy. Um, so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. Farewell, Stanley. 
cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated, as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Ah? Oh. Wait, so did a narrator just narrate the narrator, then took over the narration, and then went back to narrating me instead? These are boxes. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I, 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 I don't know. I really like this big room that is glowing. But I like how this is like... Oh, okay. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? I I Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? I, I suppose, if you want to look at it bleakly. My computer! The office layout! Nature paintings! Room designs. Coffee, blue carpet, and regular carpet, gray carpet. Buttons. Hey, wait, this is, uh... This is, like, how I get the different, uh... Keyboard. Um... Their office computers. Uh... Boss's office? Wait, it looks different sometimes? This is confusing as hell. Yeah, these are lounges. The under the underground. Um narration outtakes. I'm writing the voice and air recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over two years ago. These are clips. What what audio clips? Why is it so quiet? Okay. I don't know. Office clock, wait. So I've been clicking some office clocks. I never considered the idea. The freedom ending. So this is what it almost looked like. Maybe they considered me actually getting the freedom. Countdown desk. This is the freedom ending. Oh. Countdown room. Elevator. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. That's where I just came from? Or, or, uh. Oh. So this is like the end game stuff? So this is like the very last thing I'm supposed to see? How did I get here? Exit. <laughs> oh, look at these two. Ew. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Huh? You sped ran? I feel like I didn't though. I didn't even do the right options. Get fucked. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? Doubt it. No, perhaps Ooh. not. Sometimes these like things cannot right be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose.
just a black screen. I thought, uh... I thought I was gonna pull a fast one on him, you know? Like... Like, oh, you thought, you know... Am I supposed to, like... Do something? Is this, like, a part of the waiting game? This would be a next level kind of game. How do I know, though? If I just have to wait a little bit longer? Huh? What if it's just like a little longer? Um, okay, I'm starting to think that maybe you're just dead. Okay, I'll press escape. Oh, oh see, I told you there's more game going on. Okay, okay, fine. You know, if there was a super secret thing, um, the game wins. The game wins, okay? I, I thought maybe I, it, something would happen eventually, but, uh, fine. Fine, nothing happened. So we did it, like, a, a lot of, like, the... The right side. Dude, what if I had to wait like just a little bit longer and something would happen? Like, I feel like it wouldn't even surprise me if it's like, if it's like, I don't know, like 10 minutes or something or like 16 minutes, like, you know what I mean? Like they make it like a, oh, kind of a weird amount of time. Go back to the broom closet. The meeting room oh yeah, you guys think I had to finish it. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. So if again. you just continue to sit in the broom closet, you get an even different, different ending? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Or go in and Perhaps out? he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire okay. it. I say no okay. more. So how did we but get to the broom closet? To get back to business, Stanley took we... the first open door on his left. Went to the left, and so he detoured through the maintenance section, and then straight, straight ahead. ahead. The Have we ever gone down that way? Track. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to it. Oh no! Oh no! 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 No!
I didn't know they happened. Did I, was I supposed to close the door? Did I not close the door? Can I not do it again? Did I, was it only a one try offer? To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's Fine. office. I walked upstairs. Didn't I already do this? I can go to the bathroom this time. To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be. You have to pick just one. Is that it? Do I not get to do anything else? I've gone- I've done the downstairs. I think I might got options. What? Elevator! This is new. This could be one of the endings where we're just like permanently like in an elevator or something. But I feel like that wouldn't surprise me. We'll try a more hands-on approach, you know? Really take life and matter into our own hands. What if I go up? I've gone down. Can I go up? Or is it literally just a trap?
There's nothing to this, is there? Is this it? Is that all, is that all, is that all there is to all this? Is it meaningless? Am I supposed to be trying to accomplish something? Okay, okay, no more. No more, listen, I tried. I tried. Uh, spam the buttons? I could try that. doesn't do anything either. Okay, please, no more. I'm sorry. Can I get out? Three months. Can I get my dudes a number, Mr. Foosh? You can pick your own number. Is it gonna like listen to all those elevator commands? Is it shaking more than it was or was it always this shaky? His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't know anymore. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right. Do I think we do? Do I think we do? Let's just try one where we play by the books. Wait, this is different. That's when I decided I was going to play it by the books. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Made to the left. Yet there was not a single oh. person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, oh, we've been Stanley here. decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. You got I don't, I don't know about the fern. He knows me too well. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Um, I think we've done everything, right? I don't... I don't know. Getting confused. Have we done, like, just the normal ending? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, sure. pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings. Oh yeah, we haven't gotten mind control for yet. Close to his situation. Okay. But his attention was caught by a keypad oh. behind the boss's desk. Oh, yes. What could its purpose be? Uh, in fact, oh, yeah. this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley Wait, had so to input the correct code by sheer luck. 
Amazing. Or did we? He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I can't remember. Was there any other option after we did this? Is this new? It feels Stanley new. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large oh. door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Yeah. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Control. Did he have the strength to find out? Sure. Wait, I think before I remember, I was up there before. I've been up way up there before. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals so reduced to images on a screen. Do you and Stanley, one of them, totem club? I believe so. Unless there's like multiple totem clubs. Nothing. Well, I already knew that. Nothing new to me. What this that mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? It, I, I thought that was kind of a given. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the uh, world i guess that would be a shame but but here was the proof the heart of the operation controls labeled with emotions happy or sad or content walking eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible Let's power, turn off the power. over another human life. Bye. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Or maybe my control is so bad. Is off, maybe. Okay. Guys, let's think about this way. The narrator is here. What would the narrator say? He'd say. He, he'd say, turn it, turn it on. And then I would press off, but I'd be like, well, this is a pretty big deal. Maybe he's learned from me. So instead. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine. Oh, it looks like it doesn't matter what, what I try to wanted? press. Control? <sighs> Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. Told if you ya. want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire well, complex. Well, why would you do that? How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? 
It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desire. Okay. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere Wait. moments until Wait, the bomb uh, goes off. But what uh, precious moments each one of them is. Uh, More time to talk about you, about me, oh. where we're going. Oh, let's Whatever try something. I know it's a long I shot. Know well, let's try this. Start. Um, What's that? Uh, You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was Not merely in okay. this instance okay. of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Well, that's gonna mean. Other times, I let the Five. office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. Four. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell Three. with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't Two. grow on trees. Oh, what? Me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. <laughs> these numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, uh, something dude, here will save you. They knew, me. they knew. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. Man. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. Oh. You wanted to control this One. world. That's fine. But I'm going to destroy it. I just press one. So you can't. Am I out of time? Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left. Press to one. Press 30 one. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Can I beat that part? Is it possible? It'd be really cool to, you know, like, like stick it to him, you know? Maybe not. Maybe there never was a choice. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as One, two, soon as he three, found four, a new five. space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. What do you mean? What's wrong with starting with five, four, three, two, when one? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. And this gets confusing. Yet there was not a single person here either. Okay. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wait, if we just go downstairs? Can't we just directly go to the memory room? 
But Wait, Stanley no! Just couldn't do it. Not this fucking he area. The possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive... No, screw this one. It's one, two, three, four, five, red button. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Dude, this game is so strange and I just don't get it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I did. I did. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Damn Stanley it. decided to go up to All his right, we'll boss's office. Upstairs, coming to go a back staircase, to the explosion. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It'll be all a okay. All right, well, we'll just do, make this really simple. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. <clears throat> Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, what? paralyzed by what? fear for well, nearly no, a full hour. No. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad got Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly Dude, walked this, forward this narrator. into the opened passageway. This could I have fell down that? Could I have fall? Okay. That narrator is always one step ahead. Wait, can I go this way now? No. All right, we're gonna get through it this time. Loading, don't care. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door All of right. the red mind control facility. Yeah, whatever. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. The hurry lights up. rose on come an on. enormous room. Come on, I was gonna try it. Come on. No, I don't care. What I don't care. Come on. Come on. Come, on. This come, on. Place hold? come on, I've already Stanley been here. I've already been here. Come on. Did he have the come strength on. Yeah. to find okay. out? Yep, yep. Okay. Now the monitors jumped yep. to life. Yep. Their true nature revealed. Buttons. Each bore the number of an employee Press. in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. That one's like red. That one's like the one with just like letters to it. Go over that that one. Okay, okay, come on. This mind control facility. No, I can it believe was it. Too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated wait, to accept Wait, you can't beat the timer? Are you guys lying? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, for everyone tell me to press one, two, three, four, five, red button. Were you saying that out of like, that's what I'm supposed to do? Or were you just saying maybe that's what to do? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. You can't Wasn't beat the cat it? down? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I guess. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, 
or sad or content. Walking, eating, oh, working, all of it monitored no and commanded from this very place. Why were you guys making it sound like? As the cold like... reality of his past began to sink in, you guys are dumb. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again You guys are trying to make it sound like as if like that's what you're supposed to do. Human life. For he you guys were making it. You guys were making it be like, oh wait, why did you do five? Four. Like, oh, it's one, two, three, four, five, red button. rising chill of uncertainty was it over yes he had won he had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else's command he's lying to freedom me freedom was mere moments he's away he's lying to me and yet even as the immense door slowly opened stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it I was not knowledge or even power sleep. that I'm he so had been seeking, what's happening. but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. It's all a fucking lie. Stanley stepped through the open door. Oh, about to be a lie. Okay. Stanley felt the cool breeze oh. upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Wait, we did it. We did it. I don't think there's anything more to do. We got out. I don't want to do any more. We got to go to the... We got to do 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 Turn off the machine. I can't control the character. Wait, what? But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes.
Oh, is it this again? Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. I'm trying to cancel it. Time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately. I'm, I'm trying. I'm pressing E. From the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. You guys have mentioned a window ending, but I don't know what that really means. I've already tried the computer. What? Didn't I already try the computer? I've tried typing on the computer several times. The first room window? This is the first room. What do you mean? Wait, is Chat getting behind again? Desk near phone. Oh no. There, there is no jump. Oops. <laughs> Walk onto the chair of desk 434 and onto the desk then out the window.
Uh oh. Where is chat at? Dude, it's like a minute behind. Oh, is it happening again like yesterday? Let's see, I'm kind of just like a minute behind right now. Uh oh. Well. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? I don't know. Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would this it be game worth it just for breaks you to the fourth wall. And then come back here just to do the other option. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Uh oh. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. I really have to restart the game. <sighs> Sons of bitches. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until Fine. he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary yeah. into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope... I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable. 
and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too will become quite unbearable. Is it over? Is it over? It's just now it's loop forever. Maybe it just loops forever. That was different. That was different. Did I win? I think I won. I did it. I did it. it I made it. I did it. Wait, now it's literally just, oh. I did it. I outlasted the music. Man, that was so bright. The bright light. Da, 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 I think I'm satisfied with this game. I think I, we did good enough for this game. I, there might be a few things. The broom closet one, I didn't get Stanley it totally complete. Simply couldn't. Oh, screw me. I don't want to hear that again. We lost when we started, you know? That's certainly a bleak way of looking at it. <laughs> We lost even when we started. We already tried the broom closet, but now it's all logged up. I can't even get in the broom closet. It's fine. I'm, I'm content. I'm happy with it. I missed most of it. Miss most of what? Wait, you, you've done like a lot of the endings. At least. Did I get every single one of them? No. But I think I'm satisfied. I parabled a lot. I did a lot of paraboling. And we held off listening to the guys about as long as possible. Um da, 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 da. All right, let me know when you when, let me know when you hear this message right now.
Let's see how behind it is. Maybe it'll get ca caught up a little bit. Oh, wait. I think it's caught up a little bit more now. It's not as behind as it was. So, Fush, when are you heading to the UK? Slash J. Probably not. Okay. I see, like, the little lag, though. Like, I saw that. That was nice. Thank you, streamer smile. Hmm. Then it happened again. Interesting. So wait, so for you guys, like, the stream, like, like, kind of, like, buffer for a second here or there? For some people, the wait is longer than others, it seems like. So weird. Yeah, I would say that's everyone refresh and see if that helps at all. Unless you're a mobiler, then probably just ride toast. And it seems like a lot of you are further behind than I would think. Foolish shock heart, foolish shock heart. Hi Foosh. How are you today? Still having spikes of buffering, I believed. It's okay, you can still play. Oh, so weird. Because, like, earlier today, I believe I was just fine. And I think most of the time when I was playing the Stanley Parables, it was fine. But it wasn't until time, like, towards the end of it that I was like. And now I think it's, like, just starting to get worse as we go now like you know what i mean i feel like it doesn't make sense Like, that it just happens, like, sporadically. Two months. What foolish shark heart? Um, then for eighty P now.
Um... Then I might... I might just... I might just, um... Yeah, I'll probably just end here then. And then, um... Okay, so it happened at 6... Like, around like 6... 20... Hmm... Then I'll have to kind of mess with it and see. It's just, it's odd though. 